All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the first seven amino acids. All of these amino acids are known as nonpolar amino acids. Every amino acid, all 20 of them, have an abbreviation to them. They're denoted by a single letter. For example, glycine is G. Alanine is A. They're not always the first letter of the word, of the name rather. For example, glycine is a G, but we also have glutamate, which starts with a G, but it's not, abbreviation is not G. So just be advised, it's not always the first letter of the word, of the name, sorry. So let's begin. The first one we have is glycine, denoted as a G. Glycine has the R group as H, or hydrogen. That's it. So the pink is the normal amino acid structure we talked about in the last video. We have the alpha carbon, and it's bound to that as a hydrogen with the carboxyl group and an amino group. So the only thing that's different from all these amino acids is the R group, or the orange part. So glycine has just a lone hydrogen. That's it. That's glycine. Really easy. It's the simplest amino acid there is. Next, we have alanine. So the difference from between glycine and alanine is we just have a methyl group now. Instead of a hydrogen, we have a methyl. That's it. Now we have valine with a V. Valine is we take the original CO we know methyl group, we leave it on there, and we add a CH and another methyl group to it. So we're adding this part here. That's valine. Now we have leucine. Leucine is exactly like valine, so we take this structure, move it over, and we just add a CH2 into it. We're essentially just building off the chain. That's leucine. Now here's where we get a little bit interesting here. We have methionine. Methionine is very unique in that it has a CH2, a CH2. So we're basically scrapping all this, right? And now we're starting all you know, from scratch. So you have a CH2, a CH2. Now we have a random sulfur here. Methionine just wants to be special. He just wants to make everyone's life more difficult. So methionine has a sulfur in it with the methyl at the end. So CH2, CH2, sulfur, methyl. That's methionine. Now we have isoleucine with an I. Isoleucine has a carbon. And to that carbon has a methyl and the hydrogen. Also attached to the, ca the carbon here is a CH2 and a methyl. So remember, this is the alpha carbon. This is not it. This is the alpha carbon. That's the original carbon we're working with. That stays the same. All we're doing is just changing the R group. So this is isoleucine's composition. Now we have proline. Proline is also very interesting, but interesting for different reasons. So you probably already noticed it has like a little ring-like structure here. However, even though it's a ring, we don't call it aromatic. For who knows why, it's not. Proline is just different. And notice here we have an NH2, not an NH3 like everything else. This is an NH2. Proline is in a ring-like structure. And all it is is, you know, CH2, 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 and with a special NH2 here. That's it. And it's in a ring. That's proline. So those are the first seven. Now, here is my advice for memorizing this. I am... Depending on your professor, he or she may say you need to memorize all this. So the first thing is, look at when you're 
first exam is, when you actually need to memorize this by, you have a quiz or whatever. Depending on that, what you're going to do is you're going to handwrite these amino acids over and over and over and over again. But don't do all seven immediately. Try to work your way up to the test. So maybe on day one, only do glycine and alanine. Write it over and over and over and over. Then the next day, add valine and leucine. But you're also going to rewrite glycine and alanine. So you're going to do, on the second day, you're going to do rewrite all four of them over and over and over and over again. On the third day, do the same thing, but add methionine and isoleucine over and over and over and over again. And, do, and then do proline. That's how I memorize all 20 amino acids. It really does work, but you know, you have to be religious about it. You need to really handwrite it over and over again. It does get boring, but I'm going to tell you, it really does help. Because I remember on the exam, about half the class, you wouldn't, I don't know, I would say 80% of the class had no idea what the amino acids are because they didn't memorize it. Because it is 20 and it's quite a bit, but this is the way to do it. Honestly, I don't find that like memory tricks help. Like, you know how people make into us like a song or something like that, or, or like a, or like a, you know, like a story or something, whatever. It doesn't work for me. I had to handwrite it over and over again. And it usually helps most people. So that's my tip is to really handwrite it every single day and keep adding on to it. So these are the first seven nonpolar amino acids. Glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, methionine, isoleucine, and proline. If you found this help, video, help, video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and turn that notification bell. Until next time, later.